well, on the subject of Jews, we have some Jews big, news. Some big breaking news. I mean, this, this is a hell of a development right here. I know it's that. I'm concerned about it because this might put, this might put us out of a fucking job. Okay. I have oh this, God! This, I have oh. this audio right uh-huh. here. I'm sorry, yes, I don't have this the video. Is, this is tough. I'm worried about our status here. Right. The fact that we're not supposed to talk about the differences between different racial groups of humans is a joke. Everybody knows on average there are certain traits that certain groups of people have. There are so many people in power that happen to be Jewish when they're like less than 1% of the world population, but probably a third of the people in power positions around the world, whether it's banking or academia or revolutions, minority groups that want to keep their religious or cultural background, that makes them then act as a military or as a gang or as an organization. And I get this question all the time. And I've always explained Europe didn't allow usury a thousand years ago, but allowed it for Jews to carry it out. That just meant charging interest on things. That amassed massive power already. And so basically that was passed on. They don't want the public debating this or discussing it. It's taken out of context. It's this big third rail, this big taboo to discuss. Sure, they're... Trying to take out the Daily Show and the third rail. They're great Jews. They're genius Jews. They're corrupt Jews. They're criminals. They're the whole spectrum. But you... Full spectrum Judaism. Sitting there and saying Jews inherently are evil and then they've now taken over shows that you've just given up. Well... The truth is... I mean... That shows you just begun to fight, in my opinion. But okay, so I keep going. I mean, there's another. Didn't you just give up in the first segment of the show? Oh yes, <laughs> that's what that new meant. Exactly. I look forward to those gabs. Yeah. Oh wait, but I'll never see them though. Yeah, yeah. You have to look at Gab in order to see them. <clears throat> Lenin was a Jew. The Bolshevik Revolution was the Jews that have been put down by the Tsar, financed out of London and New York, going back and taking over. But then they got killed and thrown out, and there was a whole anti-Jewish movement with Stalin. It's a complex issue. And you've got the whole neocons that were the Trotskyites kicked out into Mexico. And then they become the conservative movement to challenge Russia. But to just sit there and and, and give all the power under that, I mean, my ex-wife, half Jewish, you know, so I guess it makes my kids part Jewish, whatever. My kids are really smart and cool. But undoubtedly, when it comes to finance, banking, uh, leveraging money, how economies work, you see that in the Jews. Why are these bugs even here? Like Ray Kurzweil said, yeah, we may let you live, but we might step on you like you're a bug. And so they're trying to neutralize Christianity, not the Jews, but the communists, the globalists. Kick saving a beauty at the end there. Right? Like he brought, yeah. he brought, he sort of, he sort of brought that back. Oh, 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 wait. Went a little too far here. We kicked well, that back in. We put that back. Just communists and communists and globalists. The indication here. I'm against, against Jews. And I, I think that, um, <laughs> well, one of the, one of the things is, okay, Alex has given us a, Alex, Alex Jones, not McNabb, uh, given us a very big brained take on the JQ. This looks and, like and, the cast of Seinfeld up here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, these left-wing Jews running around. You got that one? Literally, <laughs> that guy genetically looks like he was born in Israel. <laughs> but established no. McClimbers. <laughs> yes, these established McClimbers. But no, but what Alex Jones is saying here is a actually a what I thought, what I was saying, um, it's a pretty good take on the JQ. It's incredible. It's perfect. It's a good take. Yeah. Like he's not wrong. A lot and he was actually showed a uh, remarkable uh familiarity with the historical knowledge here. Yeah. When it comes to the uh, the usury, when it comes to the the Trotskyist movement, the Stalinist movement, etc., like he kind of he he has he understands the history here. It's not he's not actually stupid on this, which is remarkable because he he it promo- sounds like he's been studying. He Jewish appears question. as a buffoon on his show, but yeah, then, this is like what is the context of this bit? Like he's in yeah, this, wait, it looks wait, like he's in the, he's in his studio. Like there's a video switcher behind him. Yeah. Like there's some kind of, you know, he's in, he's in like, it's, it's, 
it's back it's behind the scenes productions like i don't know where this footage came from yeah like, who is he telling this to yeah because there's the gonna be backlash for this like you can't get away with saying that like that it's is gonna like gonna get in a lot of that's like the op- that's like the a big issue that's the I opening think. statement in a discussion on jewish power and that's not gonna yeah. fucking fly and the fact that he punts at the end to communism and globalism that's what i said kick saving a beauty it's not really it's like he said it's not gonna work he said though. all the things first like that yeah. at the end doesn't yeah. doesn't change it like yeah you he may think that he's hedging his bet there and he's nah. covering is he's not yeah because this is something we've all done at one point or another yeah we have all done all the well well here jews are doing this 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 and this but and the thing is like one of the reasons and we we did this a little bit with the z-man on friday is um one of the reasons i never do naxalt mm-hmm. is because naxalt i feel like if if that's not like a given yeah then you're you're not what's the point like we're beyond Naxalt as like a point that is worth talking about, right? Like we get it, we get it. There are Jews out there well, that are opened, not. He like opened this, up with the first. What, he opened up with the best statement. He says, "We all know that on average, and that's what we're all we're yeah, ever yeah. talking about. On average, means on there's average. Naxalt. Means there's people yeah. outside the average." And I thought and he was going to go into a thing when I first was watching this video. I thought he was going to go into a thing on race realism. They're on average is these traits and these traits and these. That was just an introduction to JQ shit. Like, oh yes. Well, that's always how it works, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) That's literally the progression of how it works. You start with the on average difference between races, and then you're like, wait, why can't I talk about this? And then you're like, oh god, you son of a bitch. Yes. (laughs) Yes. So it's it shows. Listen, asshole. (laughs) He's got the awareness now. My argument to him would be okay. Communism, globalism, I agree. Those are bad things. However, and I agree that there are people involved in those things that are not Jewish. Mm. My point well, has always been and and is that Jews and Jewish power, Jewish influence, is a necessary condition for these things. Yeah. Without the Jewish power, you don't get European, white, Gentile societies doing the globalist bit. You'll have shit lips. You'll have commies, you'll have socialists, you'll have liberals, you'll have these people, but they'll remain as a smaller than a a uh, non-controlling number of people, a people that cannot exert control in numbers over, over a, you know, democratic or Republican nation. And they'll be sort of a fringe annoying group of people that you're like, oh, ha ha ha, here's another funny liberal. It'll be like a world in which we actually have you know, basic family values in church and white communities, but there's raving liberals in the park every Sunday and we can just laugh at them. You know, like those people will exist, Mm. but without the Jews and without the concentrated power, which Jews, it's so funny. He actually points out the Jews got their concentrated power from the ability to charge interest Interest. in the middle ages. I mean, that's, he didn't even say interest. He said usury. That's what he used the LARPy term. Like that's, that's the LARPy. That's that's a woke ass take. That's the old, like rigid 1.0. Like I'm a crank and no one listens to me. Term I'm literally against charging interest. Like, like no, like, no usury. You say usury, and you're on this other level that's of just like shit. of like way outside of the mains. Like you're so yeah. far out of the yeah. Lord and window. You're, like, you're usury, like, and it's like fucking brother Nathaniel. Where shit. did <laughs> and it's but it's like it's kind of true. It's like where did Jews get their concentrated financial power? Yeah. Well, well, from the ability to charge interest, to live off of everyone else's energy and, yeah. and labor. Yeah, exactly.